the uh, regular meeting of the June 8th uh, Morrow City Council meeting is called the Board of the uh, Pledge of Allegiance and stand for the side. Weeks came to work for the city of Mara in June of 2006. Uh, prior to that, he was a firefighter for many, many years in another department. He is a uh, cardiac tech, so a CT on this patch here. I think he's one of about six in the state. Uh, uh, so he's between a paramedic and an advanced EMT. It used to be something that the state issued, they don't anymore, uh, but he still has that. Um, he is our grant writer, and he started doing that in 2008. And we have received $965,000 in grants that Lieutenant Weeks has written. That's so good. Is <laughs> so we're happy to have his wife, Tammy, with us tonight. Thanks for joining us. And at this time, I'll present you with your 15 year pimp. We're going to start calling him our million dollar man. <laughs> what, what was that song about? <laughs> 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 you know, I'll take some pictures, please, because at the end of the day, those are the pictures that are going to matter. So, yeah, going to matter about us. Do it again, Chief. <laughs> 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 he can't stick me again. I mean, you're already struck. Hey, and then maybe it's hacker mom. That's right. You want to join him? Okay. 
good job. Right? And we really locked the money. <laughs> Public hearing, uh, 2022 budget. happening in the area and start formulating plans and objectives for the upcoming year. Uh, typically our budget will be tied to uh, goals and ambitions that we have for the upcoming year. Uh, somewhere along the line we start pulling all that data together from the various departments. Uh, we also uh, loop in council as well. Uh, you'll recall we had a uh, all-day event a few Saturdays back. Uh, where we shared our thoughts and gathered your thoughts and kind of married those in together and uh, continued to combine the, the budget and the numbers together. Uh, I've said this before, budget is my favorite time of year. I think it's a great opportunity to uh, dream and hope and plan uh, to make the community a better place. Uh, I think this budget uh, really puts our money where our mouth is. Uh, there's a lot of really good uh, projects in here. Uh, I think there's several areas where it's, it's quite ambitious. We've really set out some uh, aggressive improvement programs in several areas, particularly public works, uh, to get some things in, in good tip-top shape. Uh, so I, I think this budget does that. Uh, we were utilizing the SPLOS dollars for many of those projects, uh, and I think uh, this budget does a really good job of reflecting council's direction uh, from a few months back that we need to do a better job at recruiting and retention. Uh, this has uh, very nice pay increases that were recently given. Uh, this budget reflects that. Uh, there's also uh, money budgeted that you previously approved at last month's session to do a pay classification and pay study plan. Uh, get that accomplished uh, and we've got those budgeted dollars in there. Uh, what it does not include is uh, the federal grants that should be coming our way very soon. Uh, those dollars which will be in the millions will um, be awarded to us, passed through the state from the federal government. At that point when we have some good definitive numbers it would definitely be worth our while to look and come up with a budget and a plan specifically for those dollars. Uh, but in the meantime, this is our regular operating budget, uh, which does a very good job of that. Uh, as required by law, we have set out uh, and notified in the local paper and on our website that the budget is available for comment and inspection. Uh, we've made it available both on the website as well as with the city clerk's office to accomplish that requirement. And this is a uh, public hearing also required by state law to gather uh, any public input that they would have now that the budget's already uh, been consolidated and ready for inspection. But you know, 365 days a year, our budget is always available for public comment. Uh, this is more of a formality than anything, but uh, with that, I'll be quiet and allow the public to speak up what they might have to say. Uh, and there is a, a copy that comes up back from somebody in general. Any, any comments from the public on, on the, the, the no tax increase? That's usually the one that people want to know about. Um, the, the rest of them, it's just a matter of you know, priorities. Uh, I know there's a number of projects in there for park improvements, um, you know, road improvements. Um, you know, we, we, we'd like to you know, keep everything in pretty good shape, we think. Uh, but there's more we can do. But at some point, it also happens city that, you know, is, is, you know the, the business side is running at the level we need it to run. Um, and, you know, I, I know we always ask for more, but, but yeah, it's delivered. 
And I'd rather pay you guys more rather than you know, five more people uh, in your pocketbook. It's a thought process. Uh, go to other comments. No, no comments. Anyway, um, at the next council meeting, we would anticipate um, passing the budget as it's pretty much written. Mayor. Yes, ma'am. Uh, could the council have a comment on uh, this meeting? Um, the council's had like two months to comment, but by all means, go ahead.
have asked when this uh, group was introduced to me, and I also asked this in the, um, one of the meetings, that have we, we uh, should get the advice from the retired attorney in, have we done so? Glad to address that question. Yeah, so this this is the first of a series of documents that will be signed. This one is the letter of intent saying yes, we're ready to proceed. Uh, we, we want to start pulling together all the documentation, transitioning the plan, etc. Uh, the DB plan, other than closing it to new participants, isn't going to change as far as the benefit levels or anything of that nature. But all the documents that we to execute in order to go from A to Z will be sent to legal for their review each step of the way. This is the first one, the letter of intent, saying, yes, we're ready to start this process. So the short answer to your question is yes, we, we have done that and we'll continue to do that. Uh, this is one of several that will go to legal for their, their review and, and uh, comment. So you're saying that the retired attorney should have Attorney has not had to look at the changes that we are about to make. She's asking if you, if a retirement attorney, has looked at the changes we're about to make. Okay. Uh, we have talked with our attorney about that at this point. Yes, we've talked about it, but there is not a document yet for them to review other than our letter of intent saying that we are going to start this process. So, yes. Our attorney is the retirement attorney because I remember we said we're going to get the retirement attorney to look at the change to make sure that we're doing the right thing. Right. And, and I'm sure and, we, and we, we talked tried with, We talked with our counsel and they indicated that they had uh, ERISA and retirement attorneys on staff who would work with us through this process. Okay. So, and so, should we go ahead and execute the agreement when we have not get the legal advice on the matter? Uh, I think the answer was they have been getting legal advice. It's a multi-stage process, and this is the first stage. Correct. That is all right. Any other questions, Ms. Tran? Yeah. Yes, and the second question was my suggestion is for that instead of looking at just one single vendor, we're looking for more than just one and look at the vendor like Prudential or so. Um, one America is just one vendor. We don't have more to compare the weight between ours. Option do we have? What option do we have? Yeah, and, and I believe I'm, I'm pulling up the memo now that's in the agenda packet, but I believe I indicated that we did look at multiple plan providers, um, and I did get three quotes uh, from other plan providers. I'm trying. I'm, let's see. Yeah, I did mention that we've got multiple quotes. Um, I did not list who they were, uh, but I can look that up really quick if you'd like, but I, I did get multiple quotes before recommending the One America. Uh, yes, yes, and the other have not been presented to the council, and we are including in the position that we make the decision on the vendor. Yeah, so uh, to give some of this data, because this goes back yeah. a couple of months. Okay. Um, so the, the three that we narrowed down to and then asked for final pricing on, uh, Empower was one of the providers. Uh, they wanted a $4,000 annual fee plus $45 per participant um, and management fees of 45 basis points or 0.45% of the plan assets. Uh, Nationwide was the second uh, in our list and they did not have any annual fees or participant fee fees and wanted 0.50 uh, 
uh, basis points or half a percent of plan assets for annual fees. And then One America has no annual fees or particip participant fees and their asset management was 0.33%. Uh, percent. So they were the lowest as well as who I feel are the, the best plan participants as well. Uh, their family of funds that they offer includes many of the big names like T. Rowe Price, Fidelity, uh, and there's, there's thousands of plan options that they have in there, uh, Franklin, Templeton, et cetera. But uh, they had the, the, the best offering as well as the best pricing, uh, which I considered it in that order. Thank you for the information and moving forward when we have uh, our city manager, when do you have the items like this on the agenda for the council to make the decision, please forward the full information because what we got is we just got get the only this one. So it's, we so missing the information, we're not informed to be able to make the, the best decision. So we have a motion. We've already got one. Um, second, Miss Dean. Second. Yes. Second. Right. Well, it was most been a second. And I think I have this night. You voted yes. Aye. And uh, Miss Dean. Yes. Yes. Okay, Mr. Clark. Aye. Miss Tran. Yes. Phase one large municipal storm sewer, uh, annual report agreement with Lake County Water Authority and to authorize the very next the agreement and any other related documents we've already had. Um, the engineer explained that to us earlier. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve? Do I hear a second? Second. Motion properly seconded. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Tank? Aye. Ms. Keenan? Aye. Mr. Barr? Aye. Ms. Tran? Aye.
go into executive session. There's a couple things we have that's all related to personnel matters. It won't take, I don't anticipate, exceptionally long. Um, but rather than just leave anybody that waits, we're going to go to general comments. We'll follow with the work session directly behind that. But I'll look for, for comments from the public. Any questions from the public? Far enough. Any questions from the council? Mr. Chair. You've got to say well, you know, once again, we have a council person that didn't feel like it was important to come to this meeting. Can't understand what she's saying. And it's to the point of, you know, I don't know why she's trying to represent people because, you know, she's not here. We can't hear her. We can't question her. And, you know, she nitpicks everything that's on the agenda. And I, for one, am tired of it. Compliments, um, and, and you're kind of with whatever opinion you have, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, each member here has different issues related to COVID that may or may not be valid to everybody. Um, and it, it doesn't necessarily matter what my opinion is, but, but I certainly want to give them that ability. Um, she has elderly parents. Um, I know we have issues with that, um, but I think you got to give much credit as you possibly can to their choices. Um, they had time to get their shot. Sorry. I, I understand. <laughs> but I, I just ask for some consideration there. I think it's unfair. Um, and everybody's entitled to an opinion. I don't have a problem with that. But, um, other questions? Anybody else? And we'll go. Uh, I got one at Hey, Chief. I just want to uh, introduce Daria Smith. Uh, she's from Clean State. Uh, she's interning. Um, happy we met her at the food truck event. She's graduating in December and she's mar uh, in marketing. And so it's a good gap to bridge for our events. And she's able to communicate to the student housing. She actually is over the first phase. And so hopefully she's able to bring the crowd. To when do the students come back over there? Um, well, first and foremost, hi everyone. Um, my name is Aria Smith, and like you said, I go to Clayton State University. Um, I'm a senior major in marketing with a minor in psychology, and right now we're in summer courses. Um, I work as the engagement assistant for University Housing and Residence Life. So I've been with housing for about three years now, just working as an RA, lead RA, and then I got promoted to engagement assistant, which is a new position. So. Um, like we were saying, we come back in August. I went to the first week of August, but I don't have a hard date right now. Um, but I know someone mentioned where we getting tested or that we have to be tested to come back in the fall. Um, right now, that isn't a thing. You just got a new president. Um, so we're kind of in the works of bringing everything back together after COVID and just trying to kickstart everything back up. But I'm grateful for this opportunity to be able to work with you all and kind of bridge the gap from Clayton and the city of Morrow. And I can't wait to work with you all. <laughs> what, what do you anticipate doing once you graduate? Um, well, right now I'm in the Georgia Army National Guard. Um, I've been in for about five and a half years, so I'm a jack of all trades. Um, but after school, I'm just kind of keeping my options open. I really do like working with Al and just seeing how the government works from a different perspective. So I'm just keeping my options open right now, working to build my career in marketing, digital marketing, event planning, everything else. But um, it's the future is bright, as I like to say. <laughs> Thank you. Got a blood drive coming up this Thursday at the Tourist Center from 10 until 3. Uh, our community stepped up, filled up all the slots as of today. So I called the Red Cross, they opened up 10 more slots. So there's still time to register. And there's a need for volunteers as well. You can see Lana over there. She'll, she'll get you set up if you want to volunteer. And just as a note of different things that's going on, obviously the, on Saturday we've got a pretty substantial event for the city with the Juneteenth celebration. It's pretty much on our website, and any one of the staff here can talk to you about it and tell you what's almost gone. Uh, certainly, we'd like you and your family to come out. I think it will be um, a fantastic event. Uh, looking forward to it. Any other discussion before we go into executive session? Or do I hear a motion to go into executive session? Let's ask that question and to discuss personal matters. Do you want to hear a motion? So moved. Do I hear a second? Okay. Motion to the second. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Knight? Aye. Ms. Keene? Aye. Mr. Schwab? Aye. And Ms. Trump? Aye. Okay. And we'll be right back. Ms. Tran, you're around? Yeah. 
Yeah. There you go. Excellent. Um, I need a motion to end the executive session and go back into the regular session. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Bennett? Aye. Ms. Dean? Aye. Mr. Kwa? Aye. Ms. Train? Aye. Got it. Um, then I'm going to get into the next motion, and that motion will be. Well, I just remember you have to amend the agenda first. Uh, we need to amend the agenda. We're going to add um, a motion to uh, accept the discussion from the work session. The executive, executive session. session. Executive session, I'm sorry. Do I hear a motion to approve? Add it to the agenda. To amend the agenda. So Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor say aye, Ms. Knight? Aye. Ms. Dean? Aye. Mr. Kwa? Aye. And Ms. Trent? Aye. Then the order of business, which would be to approve the discussions of the executive session. Do I hear a motion to approve? Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Knight? Aye. Ms. Dean? Aye. Mr. Qua? Aye. And Ms. Turner? Aye. Motion carries. Excellent. All right. We're going to end the city's regular meeting.